This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Today we're dealing with the Mila dishwasher fill valve that no longer works. This is a picture of the existing one. And here are some fill valves you can get on the internet that are pretty cheap, usually around $15. There's various types will work. And then also you need one of these little brass elbows. You can get them at the hardware store or online. So in the procedure, what we're doing first is feeling the fill valve during the startup and we're just feeling if it's vibrating but not letting water in. In this case we can feel it vibrating. It's not a big deal because we can in, put so we can put a new fill working. valve. These these things and work they for usually last maybe, maybe a decade. ten to fifteen years and they stop. Mila wants about two hundred and twenty for the part. So this generic part's less than forty dollars to do to do the whole repair. So we're gonna make sure that We've got the dishwasher unplugged and the water is turned off and then we're going to remove the water supply to the old fill valve and just use a wrench to unloosen the fitting. It's a compression fitting. We just spin it off. And what we're trying to do first is just get to the fill valve which is underneath the sink so we can do the repair. I'm using a standard head screwdriver to pry apart the plastic case so I can get to the old fill valve. And we're going to use some locking pliers or vice grips to kind of pull back the outer case, the outer tube, to give us better access. You can even use some tape to hold it back. Now we're using some diagonal pliers to cut through the old tube about six inches in and now we're going to be able to do some work on the electrical wire that brings power to the old fill valve. We're just going to split the wires apart so we have the neutral and the hot wire that bring 110 volts to the fill valve and then we're going to put on little spade connectors so that we can bring power to the new inlet valve. And I just stripped the wire a back, of the, I put the on top the ones. little people, spade connector, people like them. and then I use a crimping tool, or you can use a pair of small vice grips to crimp it down very securely on the wire. I'm going to make sure this is a really strong connection. Yes, sir. <laughs> and then since very important. <laughs> this power wire will be exposed underneath the sink, we got to make sure we wrap it tightly with electrical tape so that there's no chance that it can come in contact with any metal objects underneath the sink. So we're doing that to both sides. We're just going to strip the wire about a quarter inch back, put on the spade connector, and then crimp it down tight with our vice grips, and then we'll wrap it with the electrical tape. And again, we cut that inner tube back by about six inches. And the reason we have to cut the tube shorter, the wires have to be longer than the tube so that they can reach the terminals on the fill valve. So now we've got the tube shorter, we've got the wires long enough, and we've got them stripped back. We have the new spade connectors and we have that wrapped in electrical tape. So we have the power supply ready and we're just gonna put the um, brass elbow now onto the fill valve and we have to wrap the brass elbow with Teflon tape so that we make sure that the uh, there's no leak. So this, this is Teflon tape designed for water application. You just get it at the hardware store and you wrap it around and then you can thread in the brass elbow into the fill valve. And once you get it in finger tight, it's good to use a wrench to get it even tighter. You just don't want anything to leak. So we're gonna tighten that up. And almost done. So if you can allot yourself about 45 minutes, you should be able to do this whole procedure. And it should save you over $200.
So we're going to put the water supply now onto the new brass elbow, and then we're going to tighten that down with a wrench. So this is <clears throat> bringing the water to the fill valve. Now we'll take <clears throat> the tube from the dishwasher and we'll hook that up to the new fill valve. It has, fits over exactly as it did over the old one. So I'm going to push this all the way in as far as it'll go and then put on the little hose clamp. And then we'll put on the electrical connectors. So everything's hooked up and now we're opening the water supply from the house just to make sure there's no leak. So that looks good. <clears throat> then what I like to do is use a little screw to hold the fill valve against the wall underneath the sink just to make sure it's secure. I don't want this thing to be moving around. So I'm going to put <clears throat> a little wood screw in here to hold this thing against the plywood near the back of the sink. So now we have it in secure. We have our water supplies done. We have it turned on, we'll plug it back in and then we can take it for a test. So we're just going to secure this tube, it's not critical but there's already a strap for it just to get this tube more out of the way so there's more room underneath the sink. In this procedure on maybe 40, 50 different Miele dishwashers. It works really well and gives your dishwasher more life after the fill valve wears out. So thanks so much for watching and please subscribe to our channel when you get a chance. Thank you.